Hello everyone, I'm Francesca Clayton. Um, so I've looked over quite a few different articles um, and I've tried to do research on a few different questions. So the research question that I finally settled on um, is what are the potential benefits and challenges of integrating wearable devices and mobile health apps into patient care and how can these technologies be effectively utilized? Um, so as far as the wearable devices, this is something that I've kind of done research on in the past, uh, my past semester. Um, and it had to do with monitoring um, transplant patients um, and their body temperature and their vital signs. Um, and it was something that they would wear throughout the day that would monitor and alert their physicians and nurses if their levels were to go somewhat up or down, that way they were able to receive care immediately if necessary. Um, and so I did some research on the wearable devices that are kind of out there. Um, a lot of them are made of silicone, they're elastic, they're stretchable. So they're made for people that live everyday life, but also for people that are active in their everyday life. So that way it's not really hindering their day-to-day -day activities. Um, I also looked up what some of the wearable devices that are currently on the market uh, monitor, and it said that they are monitoring um, your everyday vital signs, such as the body temperature, the heart rate, the respiration rate, blood pressure, and pulse oxygenization, um, which are, again, things that we normally get checked out at the doctor, but if they get out of whack, then those are things that can cause... Um, significant alert to our physicians and tell them that there is actually something going on that needs to be looked at further, especially if you've had like a previous procedure that they're monitoring, then this is a wearable medical device would be really helpful for them. Um, if your levels go up and down, then they know that you might need medical attention immediately or they could change your medication or something of that sort. Um, the second half of my question was focused on the mobile health apps into patient care. Um, so I think the mobile health apps is something that has kind of taken off over the past few years. Um, I know it's something that pretty much every hospital or physician that I have visited has their own health portal at this point and within like the past three to four years. Um, I know I personally go to St. Elizabeth here in Northern Kentucky and we have had my chart since I want to say like 2012, 2013. It's been quite a while that I've been using that. Um, I have found it personally to be very helpful, and most of my friends use it as well, and they have found the mobile health apps to be very helpful. Um, the mo mobile health apps, I know, um, after doing a little bit of research, allows patients to have access to their health care immediately and also their health records, um, which has been an issue in the past, you know. I know when I was very young, my mom would have to, if I was transferring doctors, she would have to go to one doctor, ask for all of my medical records, get them physically, and then take them to the new doctor. They would have to go under review, and then I would have, like, my actual appointment with the doctor. Um, so the mobile health apps have helped a lot with that, and that is definitely one of the pros that I have found um, after doing some research is that patients have access to all of their records at the palm of their hand. Um, also, they can consult with their doctors easily. I'm not sure if any of you have ever done this, but if you've had like a recent medical visit and then you notice you're still not feeling well or something else occurs, you can send a message to your doctor through the mobile health app and that allows a physician or a nurse to call you later that day and give you medical advice or I've even had doctors like prescribe me more medication over that um, if my symptoms have worsened or they've been continuing for a certain amount of time um so yeah i also know like with the health apps it's been definitely beneficial um because i've visited different providers within different cities like i've been out of town and have gotten sick and i've gone to their their hospital there or a physician there and i've been seen and then they have their own health porter and then i'm able to bring that information back to my actual doctor here where i currently reside and then I'm able to show them that information or transfer that information easily over to them. Um, I also know like recently I've decided I have to get my wisdom teeth out unfortunately and I know like UC has their own portal that they use but now I'm able to show them my previous medical records that align with where I'm at 